things first. Do I look like Arthur Shelby with this haircut? <laughs> Name's Arthur Shelby. By order of the Peaky Freaking Blinders. Today is awesome, dude, because I have to admit something that I am ashamed to admit. And the sad truth is that I have only listened to two White Chapel songs in my entire life. Turn your fucking brain on. It's part of the double-edged sword of having a reaction channel where you cannot listen to new music because you feel guilty that you didn't make a damn reaction. At least that's the book that I fall into. When a demon defiles a witch, y'all have been asking for this for the longest time, dude, and I, I don't know why it's taken me so long to knock it out, but it is that time right now. When a demon defiles a witch, dude, I don't even know what defile means. Violate the chastity of. Oh, God. Desecrate or profane. Sully, mar, or spoil. Okay, so uh, a demon's f***ing a witch up, okay? Dude, I am so happy, man. I just... Uh. This just looks like a good video, man. Anyway, link to the original video will be down below in the description. Y'all make sure to check it out if you want to. If you are brand new to the channel or you have been around here time and time again and you have not subscribed, take a second to hit that subscribe button. It means the world to me. We are almost at a million subscribers and that's just insane. You guys are incredible. Now, about to enter a little bit of death core. <laughs> let's, let's get it, man. Honestly, I don't know what to expect. Oh god. What happened, dude? sound. Actual, real-life, true human beings do not make that sound. Dude, honestly, that is such a crazy feeling. Like, let's take a step back and stop looking at the trees. Let's look at the entire forest. For some people to actually physically harm themselves because they have such a lack of feeling inside. They have such an inability to feel that they feel the need to actually hurt themselves and harm themselves to feel some sort of sensation. It's just such a sad truth, dude. It's so... I, have, I haven't personally been there, but I've had numerous people that I love that have been affected by that. And it, it's gut-wrenching, man. Dude.
Okay, dude. First and foremost, this was the exact same sensation that I had whenever I first learned of Stone Sour, and I was like, holy shit, Corey Taylor can sing like that? Like, the, the growls and the screams of this song are, are crazy intense, right? He's got that death core. But at the end of the day, what a tremendously beautiful voice. Like, the tonality of his voice, dude. Unparalleled. Okay, like from a musicianship standpoint, do you hear the drums? I mean, that is unreal. And is she, I feel like she's being possessed of some, some sort. She's dealing with either multiple personalities or an actual possession of something. I, I don't know what it is, dude, a disease of something. Like multiple... Oh, shit, is it like multiple personality type of thing? Schizophrenia type of deal? I, I don't know. Y'all are 100% right. No wonder you've been asking for this song. Wow. Oh my god, man. I mean, the absolute perfect combination between like, rip the skin from my face off and jump into a damn fire pit and the most placid, relaxing, but terribly sad, crying by yourself type of vibe. Now let's see what the song is about, dude, because there's a much deeper story there than what I'm getting from it. The song is about Phil Bozeman's mother having having schizophrenia and writing in her journal. So on an Instagram live story, Phil explained that the demon mentioned in the title is not referring to his stepfather, but instead referring to a personal demon named Mycar that Phil's mother wrote about in her journal. She suffered from a myriad of serious mental issues, and Phil said that she was diagnosed as having 34 different personalities, holy shit, which would all appear in her personal journal that she kept, even the handwriting would change with each personality. The song specifically references that demon, my car, Phil showed and read excerpts from his mother's journal focusing on a couple of lines where his mother explained that a demon named my car would sexually assault her in bed taking the physical form of Phil's father. The title of the song actually comes from a line in his mother's journal where she describes the sexual assault. Quote, It takes on Gary's blush gray body, a real physical body, a dead body raping me, a devil raping a witch. Gary was Phil's father's name. The lines in the song's pre-chorus are also taken from her journal. The incubus, it happens no matter where I sleep in this bed, in my place, in his place, it still happens. I thrash from side to side, yet it still happens. It hurts so bad, again and again. Burn the bed, yes, burn everything, liar. Dude, Im just imagine 34 different personalities, different personas, different handwritings, different feelings, getting raped by a ghost of, so of your child's father. That is, it's so sad, dude, because it's like at the end of the day, that's just so many mental health issues going on in one person. Songs like this, man, it reminds me of like Daddy from Corn. Right? A lot of these songs are so, so intense and so many people can relate to them. Um, and I empathize with anybody out there that can relate to something like this. Um, if you guys need anything, always reach out to me, man. But this was, this was incredible. This was a true work of art. Whether it's pleasure or pain, happiness or sadness, putting it in an art form is the best thing you can possibly do. And this is an incredible song, dude. When a demon defiles a witch. Oh my gosh, man. Thank you guys so much for showing me this. I love the fact, though, that Phil added some clean vocals in there. I mean, that was such a good call. Incredible way to take the trajectory of the song and just make it something very, very special. Um... 
That being said, that's where you guys come in. Drop some comments down below. Let me know what you think about this song, White Chapel, when a demon defiles a witch in general. And with that being said, keep smiling, keep being yourself. Don't let anybody throw shade at you. I will see you tomorrow. That's a motherfucking fact, though. Yeah, I love y'all more than anything. And don't forget that. Peace! Oh.